Hi, this is your girl T. Bowley. I just felt compelled to make this very brief statement that the prosecution, for whatever reason, didn't present during the George Zimmerman trial concerning the murder of Trayvon Martin. I want to say that it's quite obvious that George Zimmerman tracked down and hunted Trayvon Martin and he had his gun out during the entire uh, chase of Trayvon Martin and when he approached Trayvon Martin he had that gun in his hand and Trayvon Martin was the one that had to implement self-defense to try to survive this situation of a person that tracked him down and hunted him with a gun out. Why the prosecution never presented this as the strong possibility of what happened, I don't know. It was quite obvious to me that George Zimmerman tracked down Trayvon Martin with the gun in his hand. And when he found Trayvon Martin, he had the gun out. Trayvon Martin was in fear of his life which is why you heard him screaming in the background. And when that gun went off, the screaming stopped. George Zimmerman tracked him down and hunted him like an animal with the gun in his hand. George Zimmerman is a coward and a weak man. And the only thing that would have given him the courage and confidence to track down someone, anyone, is that gun. And he had that gun in his hand the entire time he was tracking Trayvon Martin to the point that he came and came across Trayvon Martin and Trayvon Martin had to defend himself to try to live because this man tracked him down and came up on him with his gun out. Why this was never presented, I don't know, but I want to present it during this very critical time of the closing arguments. God bless.